I gotta go to a place with zero gravity soon. This ain't cutting it, man. It's like, I, you ever wake up in the morning and you stand up? And I don't know. It's like doing five sets of squats at the gym. Like, well, this, this getting old thing really fucking sucks. And, you know, listen. It doesn't help that you uh, accelerate it with alcohol and everything else. I don't know, you have to. My wife comes up to me the other day, she said. She said, <sighs> We have to redo the bathroom! I, I, I want to I can't wait till my son gets old enough so I can say what the fuck did she say he's still you too young to curse at and stuff you know it's just like what is she yammering about the bathroom she, we have to redo the staircase like why, why what's wrong with the staircase did I fall through it yet I walk up the uh uh it, it creaks and it cracks. Like, end? I like that. It's like a horror movie. I just, this just completes the haunted house that I live in. The other day, we, uh, there's a patch of grass out here I fixed. It goes across the whole yard. All right, so I'm, I'm dragging a transmission on a dolly. And I go across the, I, I have no, I, I'm sorry, I can't pick up a Ford top loader. It's like 190 pounds. Cast iron case, half an inch thick. What the fuck? I'm dragging this thing through the ground. I'm putting ruts in the ground. I finally get the thing wrestled into the, into the shed here. And I go back outside and I go, I hear, Barry, what happened to the grass? Like a ripping banshee. I got so scared. I got so scared I got angry. I'm turning into that old guy. And I just went, can you shut your fucking mouth? You ever hear the neighbors curse? And you're like, Jesus Christ, don't they realize they have neighbors? That was me. And I, because I said fucking... Okay, there's a silence bell for my wife now, which is perfectly fine with me. She shrieked at the top of her lungs. I said, what happened? Was there a fire? Who got murdered? Somebody kick open the front door? No, you left tracks through the dirt. When I'm, if I ever become president in the United States of America, okay, you know who my Secret Service is? Guys are going to be? Not Navy SEALs. Not ex-Green Berets. Whatever, they, whatever these people are. A Delta Force? I get a bunch of married men. I said, this is what this is this is what my Secret Service team is going to consist of. Can we get a bunch of married men on the over here that make uh, under fifty thousand dollars a year? That's it. I can't wait to jump in front of a bullet. Are you kidding me? Everybody, let me tell you, my family is safe. Because if somebody goes to shoot one of them, I'm gonna I'm gonna leap in front of the bullet. Hell, I'd leap in front of the bullet for a homeless man at this point. Can I have coffee, please? I made the mistake of running a hairbrush through my hair this morning. Hey, uh, news alert. For people with uh, wispy, thin, I don't know, Swedish cunt hair on the top of their head.
when you got that thin hair and you run a brush through it, for some reason it separates every strand. And it looks like you're wearing, I don't know, I could see liver spots on the top of my head. I'm like, you know what, let's just end it now. Listen, I, I tell you what, as soon as I see liver spots, I mean, just take the rope out of the house. Any type of rope, I don't know, ammunition, just take it out of the house. <sighs> For crying out, Crin. My wife, she wants to redo everything. Oh yeah, redo everything. I'm downstairs. I'm 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 stacking uh, sea rations in the corner of my basement. I got 55 gallon drums of water that I'm putting a drop of Clorox in every month. Oh yeah, redo everything. Redo. Oh, she wants to put it. Uh, we need central AC. She had the guy over the other day. The central AC guy. He's going to give us an estimate. I'm like, nobody informed me about this. And I felt like saying to him, hey, do me a favor. Stop your little fucking sideshow where he tells you everything's going to be an easy installation. I said, let's get down to brass tacks here. How much are we talking? I'm talking Scott Each over here. I don't know. It's like 35 grand. I'm going to tell you this right now. I said, excuse me. I didn't, I, I, I asked for air conditioning, not two cryogenic chambers. Like Walt Disney. Wouldn't it be, listen, wouldn't it be great to wake somebody up from a cryogenic chamber? You know what I would do? I'd have him in the middle of a, a, a wrestling ring with Big John Stud. That's all. Here you go. You're alive again. And I don't know, it's a suplex, a backbreaker, a ghetto blaster. Remember the ghetto? Ooh, the ghetto blaster. Everybody thought it was so dangerous. Remember Junkyard Dog used to do the ghetto blaster where he'd kick you in the back of the head? Stop your bullshit. I didn't like Junkyard Dog. To me, to me listen, I didn't like uh, Rick Martell. Now, was it Rick Martel? I don't know. Remember watching wrestling on Sundays and they'd have some job come out, like Mike Rotund? Like, oh, geez, who's this guy? I didn't realize that, that like you could see real wrestling somewhere. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know how they used to show it. Like, like was it pay-per-view? Or, or did you have to have cable? I didn't have cable growing up, so we didn't get... We, we, at WCW wasn't even a thing. Up here in the Northeast. I, I, I mean, I didn't have cable for Christ's sake. That kind of hurts things. So that's it. You come out of the cryogenic chamber. And they, there you go. You, they get you in a headlock. I don't know. Give you a couple eye rakes. They don't rake your eyes anymore. They don't rake your back. That was a big thrill in the 80s. Back rakes. Me and my sister used to laugh at that. And then we'd, we'd do back rakes all day long until my father would explode, tell us to shut up. And then we piped down for about T minus four minutes. <laughs> and then it was back up, it was back up to jet engine level decibel uh, noise. It was so hot here the other day. Okay, we've been having like record blade. We had a heat wave in September. It was like it was like five days over ninety. This is very disconcerting. At this time of year, I needed to be cool. Okay, because it, it just doesn't make sense when it's hot in September. Okay, you you're ruining my whole f like. This is like the feel. Kids, back to school. Oktoberfest is coming. Do you understand? It's something internal. It's like, you know, where's where's the umpire band? I fucking get my kid out of school the other day. It's like 300 degrees outside. I don't even know how to explain it to you. And I'm like, hey, I'll walk the dog down to the school. Okay. My dog's got to take record-breaking shits that day. Three. On the way to the school. 
So, oh my God, why do I gotta deal with this dog? What is my, what does my dog have? Irritable bowel syndrome? Oh, what's going on? The first one comes out solid. The second one comes out liquid. The third one comes out solid. Explain that to me. This guy's take he's he's pulling out core samples from the Antarctic. So what's going on? What's going on? I don't. I mean, maybe it's my brother-in-law throwing him chicken bones from the barbecue. You're not supposed to give dogs chicken bones. But I'm sitting there with a cold Heineken, and Leo, you know, you know, my my brother-in-law's got this chicken bone. What's he gonna do with it? He hands it to the dog. The dog is like on cloud nine. Leo's happy. He got rid of the fucking chicken bone. I mean, my dog eats the bone marrow knuckle. I don't know what's going on in there. You never see our chicken bone disappear so fast in your life. The dog is on fire. He's, he's, he's having a great time. He's running around the yard. He's powered on, on bone marrow. Okay? I have the liver king dog. He's like an eight ounce rocket flying around the fucking yard. So whatever. He got his chicken bone. I'm sitting here drinking a beer. I didn't have to crack my mouth open. Now I got to scold my brother-in-law. Fuck you. The guy's making me two, two, two hot dogs and one cheeseburger. That's right, but you think it stops there? No, it doesn't, because it's a plate of food. Sausage. And hell if there's not another motherfucking cheeseburger to Anyway, I worked that day. I'm, you know, hey, <laughs> golly gee, newsflash, it might have been a little hungover. And... On the way home from school, I'm broiling. The dog is broiling. Do you understand? His body's moving back and forth. When, when I'm walking my dog and he starts like twerking, I realize that he's very, very exhausted and tired. And you know, he of course he needs to be groomed. So his hair's, a, it's basically like he's wearing, a, I don't know, a, a black bear suit in the middle of August. I don't know how to explain it to you. Oh my God. You ever pull out a condom made out of fur? Come on, wouldn't that be fun? I think they should make like a, like prank condoms that you put on, you know? Like you put it on, it's got metal spikes or something like that. You're like, hey, where, you know, pass me the KY. Who uses KY jelly? It's disgusting. Okay, who, number one, who uses, I mean, what, jerk, what, why don't you just call it jerk off jelly? Let's cut down the brass tacks here. What is KY for? And I'm sorry, who was using this as a lubricant? All right, because I, I got a, <laughs> I got a tub of olive oil under the sink over here. You want to, you want to get down to uh, the nitty gritty? What are we talking about here for crying out loud? I don't know, it was so fucking hot, guys. I said, I just want to get my head on the water. So I kick open the front door. I said, that's it, babe. Put on your bathing suit. We're going to the beach. And, uh, oh, I don't want to go to the beach. I said, oh, here we go. My son, he jumps on the iPad. He doesn't want to go anywhere. I said, listen. We're going to the we're going to the beach right now. That's all there is to it. And they they both turn at me and and basically laugh in my face because I have zero authority in the house. I said, "All right, goodbye. I'm leaving. I'm going to the beach." Anyhow, they wind up following me. I don't know. We get in the damn cars. All I grab is lawn chairs because I know as soon as I get there, I'm jumping in the water. We get there and it's after Labor Day, so it's free of charge. So they put a big sign in front of the fucking t the turnstile booth. It says, 
no charge. Say, oh, oh, thank you very much. That's right. I had to come. I had to come and pay ten dollars to every time I came to this crummy beach this summer. Because do you think I buy a beach pass? No, of course not. Instead, I'll spend a thousand dollars on entrance fees at the beach. I say to myself, as I'm handing this ten dollars, I'm like, I'm spending ten dollars to be on a beach. I mean, you know, this is ridiculous. It's like a beach. It's Earth. It's like Earth. Why do I gotta pay money to see Earth? Oh, why? So I can have some some fucking guy come over fully dressed and throw out the trash? What is with people that throw out garbage at the beach? People that throw out garbage and people with metal detectors. They gotta wear f full uh. Full regalia on the beach. Jeans, socks, boots. You know, sometimes a fucking hooded sweatshirt. What do they know that I don't know? And they're not sweating. I'm under an umbrella in my underwear, practically. I got sweat pouring off my forehead. You ever see like a white pasty person when they start sweating? You throw up into your own pants. The skin gets shiny. There's moisture. But it doesn't drop like droplets. It drops almost like, like it's part of the skin as it falls. So it looks like your face is melting. For some reason, when I'm out in the be at the beach, you ever have somebody take a picture of you at the beach? Oh my God, it's a horror. I said, what happened? What went wrong here? Don't you have Photoshop? Give me a fucking tan. That's why pale pasty people belong in a graveyard. Not at the beach. And when I say graveyard, I mean literally like hanging out there. That's what I feel like my element is. Next time I have a barbecue, you know what? If this whole world goes downhill, one of the, my bucket list things, like if the whole, we turn into like a lawless uh, mass of murderous uh, animals fighting over food and gasoline, I'm just gonna roll my barbecue down to the nearest cemetery. And I mean, listen, you bring the wireless speaker, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm listening to No Quarter by Led Zeppelin while I'm flipping burgers. Oh, Led Zeppelin, baby. Listen, there's two ways I can't, I can't listen to Stairway to Heaven anymore, unless it's the live version. You understand that? The same thing with No Quarter. I'm not listening to, to No Quarter, unless it's the live version now. Okay? Especially with John Bonham's drumming in the middle. Oh yeah, John Paul Jones thought this one was all about him. I don't know, he's riding around on some fucking cockamamie horse with a mask on. I don't know, you meet some broad... Uh, he thinks he's cunt Dracula. I said, whatever. Meanwhile, John Bonham's laying down some of the, the most, like, incredible drumming of all time. And they cut it! And they cut it short on The Soul Remains the Same. You gotta find the entire version of the song. Your mouth will hit the floor. John Bonham was the business, bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Somebody texted me the other day. Who's the greatest drummer in the world? We're having an argument. This person says John Bonham. This person says Ginger Baker. Uh, so, and, and what about what do you think about Neil Peart? I said, Freeze, stop the conversation altogether. It's Buddy Rich's number one. You're never going to change it, okay? I don't care about this Hamish guy on TikTok who's flipping his drumsticks in the air, catching him with his asshole. I don't care. Buddy Rich is number one. Let's get this all fucking hashed out, okay? Number two, John Bonham is number two. 
And you want to know why John Bonham is number two? Because he's a Buddy Rich ripoff. There, I said it. Who do you think influenced John Bonham? He was Buddy Rich. Do you understand this is, it increases Buddy Rich's power by tenfold? We're not, it's just not Pokemon here. It's Drummy Man. And I want Neil Peart. Uh, pff, huge mistake I just made. Buddy Rich. I'm taking Buddy Rich. That's all. You want to talk about Ginger Baker? Mm, you're going to talk to me about Neil Peart? Don't even start the conversation. Oh, yeah, this is where people get mad. They don't realize Neil Peart doesn't know how to play the drums. Sure, he knows how to play the drums. Like a robot. Bing, bing, crack, bing, bing, crack. Dig a little ling, dig a little ling. Dig a little ling, dig a little ling. I mean, this guy, that, that, like, come out of the time zone, will you? Neil Peart, will you? Can you rock back and forth? It, it, can you hang back in the cut? No, you can't, because you're Neil Robot Pert. There, I said it. I mean, th 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 don't get me wrong. I ain't gonna shut off that motherfucking song with the kid on the rocket. Red alert! Red alert! But ain't ding 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 I mean, come on. Great stuff. Great stuff. Just stop with Neil Peart being the best drummer. He's good. He's good. I mean, you want to throw Stuart Copeland in the mix? I mean, did I say that? Anyway, guys, we get to the beach. I throw my chair into the sand. And I start speed walking towards the water. And I don't stop till my head is under. Can I just say, I don't know what the beach water does to you, man. It was this cool, crisp water. I want you to picture, you're so hot all day. No AC. Walking around in the sun like a, like a bumpy. I mean, the car, when you sit in the car, you first sit in it's a thousand degrees. The water went around my face, up through my hairline, over the bald spot. You never felt such relief in your life. I have to tell you that I took a five alarm shit that day and my ass was on fire. I started pulling the water in and out of my asshole like a bidet. And listen, if you got an itchy ass all day and you jump into the salt water, I mean, I was twerking. Do you understand? I'm not afraid to, to tell you right now. You wonder what people do when they go in the ocean. I was washing my asshole. So that's basically it. And oh my God, it was just fantastic. And I swam and I just let the water flow over my body. It was like, it was nature's radiator. And it felt oh so right. And then I went up on the sand with my son and we made a, well, we make a fort, you know, out of the sand and basically leave a crater indenture in the earth for people to trip and fall into as they walk by. <laughs> Holy Kreidler and cunt. And on my son's birthday just passed, I got him a fish tank. He opens up the box, he goes, can I get a hamster? He's like, all right, we'll take back the fish tank. I, I made the mistake when I bought the fish tank. There was like a new guy at PetSmart or Petco, whatever it is. I get this pick, 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 this fish tank and he's like, oh, cool, you're doing a fish tank? And the guy was so excited that I couldn't say no. I. I I said, yeah, I'm doing it. It's for my son. I don't know why I couldn't say it. I felt like I, I, I was keeping the energy up. And he goes, oh, man. He goes, oh, what kind of fish are you going to put in it? And I was like, uh, I, I don't know, those gold ones? He goes, oh, he goes, uh, I have a, a, a tank, too. 
And I'm like, well, how about that? I got, I got a, a, a cock. How about you? You ready for another coincidence? I don't know. I said, oh yeah, you got a tank? Yeah, and then he goes on and on about there's plants in there and there's a certain type of fish that rubs against the plant and there's another fish that cleans the gravel. Everything's this, this like, uh, there's a homeostasis going on in there. I don't know, everything's working in equilibrium. I said, oh, that's great. Another asshole with a nice clean fish tank. Why when I growing up, I had, I would set my fish tank up and the next day it looked like a, a, a swimming pool just before you opened it. Algae everywhere, everything ran out of control. I was like, ah, God damn it. And then you would go over somebody's house, they had this beautiful clean fish tank. You're like, oh my God, you must clean it every hour. And they're like, really? I haven't cleaned it in months. <laughs> and you're like, oh, well, that's great. What the fuck am I doing wrong? Anyhow, I was, I, I was like getting into it. I was like, yeah, I'm going to put some plants in there. Stuff like that. Oh, cool. He goes, hey, my name is Ross. He shakes my hand. I was like, right away I can tell by your youth and enthusiasm about fish tanks. You have never gotten laid in your life. Where do you find out about con? Let me just put it that way, all right? A different kind of fish in your life. Like, thank you, Ross. We had this like great connection. Can I tell you when I went to return that fish tank, I start walking in, I saw Ross, I turned around, I walked out. I couldn't do it. I felt like putting the fish tank in the car and like, I don't know, sneaking in to the building, into the break room and finding Ross's schedule. Like, oh my God, when is this motherfucker off so I can return this fish tank? <sighs> Friday. Awesome. I had to come back when Ross wasn't there. I'm so embarrassed about this. <laughs> because it is embarrassing. <laughs> I couldn't explain it to him. Wasn't gonna do it. So now we got a hamster. We go there and they're like, they're selling these things, they're called Chinese hamsters. They're like so little and cute. What am I gonna tell you? The little beady eyes came out. They're like all hiding underneath the wood chips. So my son's like beating on the tank. I'm like, you don't understand son. What you're doing is like concussive, like J Dam bombs falling from the sky. You're inside a tank. I was like, imagine you're inside a tank. You're just like, I don't know, you know, like on the computer. And all of a sudden somebody's like, boom, 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 boom. And you're like, whoa, and the computer flies in the air. Like, hey, motherfucker, you understand this? That's human. Don't just let it, let a giant alien come down and throw you in a tank for a couple days. They'll, they'll be looking and laughing. Look at that, what is he doing with his fingers? And, he, and, and the other guy's like, I don't know, Mike, but uh, come look at this death ray. Something's going on with it. Uh, I don't know. Needs a new one of those hydrostatic things. So they, they uh, listen, it's the hamster cage. The, the, the girl, huh, you need the hamster cage and then you need these because this is what they like to bite and carve their teeth down with. And then you gotta get the food and here's what I recommend for the bedding. And hey, it's you should get treats. I got a bundle like this walking out. I thought the hamster was gonna be fucking cheaper than <laughs> the fish tank was $120. I said, how much did this fucking rat be? I walk out of there, it was almost the same price as the fish tank. It was like 110 bucks. I said, mother ref and hole. I don't know. You want me to be honest with you? I think they sold me a mouse. I, I started to set up the, 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 uh, the hamster cage and the wheel and the water bottle and everything like that. And, uh, I'm more, I'm looking at them. I'm like, oh my God, they sold us a mouse under the guise that it was a Chinese hamster. I ah, said, so whatever, we got a mouse now. It's a mouse, it's clearly a mouse. Uh, I said, I never seen a fucking animal take so many shits in my life. I'm like, you know, I said, Tani, we're gonna have to clean this cage out probably every two weeks. I hope you'll understand that. 
I put the rat in. As soon as he he took two steps, he, like five shits came out. I said, okay, we have to clean this every other day. I see the writing on my balls. I said, he runs in the wheel and he takes shits at the same time. This is, this is, this, I, I said, you, you, I said, number one, you're not going to see him. They're nocturnal. So what my hand, my, my sister's hamster used to do, is he used to run on the wheel and it was a metal wheel and it would go. <laughs> it almost a picture, imagine playing uh, the psycho theme song on a stereo system while you're trying to sleep. And my father would get up and curse and moan about how the, the hamster's wheel is squeaking. But I, it's like, hey, did anybody ever think about oiling the fucking thing? Because that went on for like years. Anyhow, we got the plastic wheel, so it doesn't make any sense. But what he does is he gets on there like an ultra centrifuge. All night long. And what he does is he runs on the wheel and he shits. And then he tramples the shit into the wheel. And it's not like... It, the old wheels used to be like bars that they would run on. This is like a, 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 a like a bowl if you turned it sideways and it could spin around. So he's trampled like... It looks like somebody put black electrical tape on the inside. Uh, like a, like a, a path of it. A rut of shit. I said, this animal is disgusting. I said, wash your hands after this. you touch this thing. But he's a little cute thing. You put him in your hand, you don't even feel the hairs. You're like, they're so soft. You don't even feel like you're touching them. But meanwhile, you're, you're, you're fracturing his vertebrae. You're like, hey, how you doing? As his eyes go, whoop, 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 whoop. I said, you don't realize how powerful you are until you pick up a mouse. You know, and, it, and he's like climbing in between the fingers and whatnot. And I'm like, one round of applause, and you're heading for, I don't know, you're going to see Mickey. I got coffee chips on my lips. It's a song. I have so much hardened coffee on the outside of this cup, I know. It's disgusting. You think I'm taking a trip out here to get my coffee cup, go into the kitchen, cup, rinse, and, and actually wash it, then bring it back out here? That's like a half a day for me. You don't understand my genetics? My grandmother actually said these words. My, we went over my grandmother's house, and my mother was like, So, uh, what did you do today? Oh, she goes, such a busy day. Oh, really? What, ha what happened? She goes, well, um... I opened up the sliding glass door and I went outside and I walked down the walkway. I opened the gate. I went down to the mailbox. I took out the mail. Then I closed the mailbox. I walked back up the walkway. I closed the gate. And then I walked up to the house and closed the, the sliding glass door. That's all she did. She was exhausted. Can I tell you that trip probably took about, I don't know, three cigarettes, two, on the way. So, I mean, that might have been part of it. So yeah, I mean, I listen, I don't know, man. I just want to lay down on the couch with my phone. Very happy that way. Very happy that way. Scra one scratch off ticket could put you on the couch and you know, 10 mil, let's face it. You got 10 mil in the bank, you're getting off the couch. Fuck you. Fuck everybody, too. See, this is the thing now. Because now, you can have food delivered to the house. It's like not a thing. So what I would do is I would put a drive through window on the side of my house. For the, uh, the, the Insta, what are they called? The Insta bring me food people. 
I'd have a sliding window right next to my couch. The couch would be under the window. And I don't know, I'm watching TV all day. And basically somebody shows up, you know, I order, you know, face it, let's face it. You know, big, uh, I had a Big Mac the other day. It was fantastic. Yeah, I went to McDonald's. There was no reason in the world to go to McDonald's. But I had a good Big Mac. And whatever. So, I mean, I, I just slide the window open. They hand me my food. I blow the guy a kiss. Love you to death. My, the most exhausting part of my day would be taking the tip out of my wallet for the food guy. Yeah. And you never have a heart attack because you never really exert yourself. I mean, what do you want to do? Have aspirations? Uh, my plan is when I go to, when I get up to heaven, uh, that, that God high fives me. He's like, you figured it out, bro. I was just fucking eating on the couch all day long. I mean, you're talking about candy bars. I'll have these fucking Insta, Instagram, Insta, Insta food people working overtime. Okay? Charleston Chew, please. Bing, bang, boom. I, listen. I'm going to put a Charleston shoe against any candy bar out there at this point. Okay? I'm not trying to hear it, Snicker. All right? Snicker, please. You ever have a Charleston shoe lately? I mean, drop my panties and bend over. I'm telling you right now. That's what I'm going to do. What Are you going to find me? If I get just, you know, a cool $20 million, I'll be on the couch. I'll have one Charleston shoe up my ass and the other one in my mouth. I mean, what are you, you going to tell me? What are you going to tell me? And they're like, what are you doing? You're disgusting. You're a pig. I said, I don't care. I'm on the couch. Get the fuck out. That's a, This is the solution to all the problems of the world. I hope you know that. Ah, that's all. You got, you got meatheads running around there trying to like, oh, I want to start a business. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> How annoying. <laughs> Whew. You get you ever you ever said that you sit at a bar and a guy starts talking about like how he's gonna start a business and whatnot? You're like, Jesus Christ. Is there an is there a fucking ejection spring on this fucking bar stool? But I wanna have the ejector seat without the hole in the roof. How about that? Let him hit the rafters. I don't know, guys. We're here for like an hour and a half. The battery's fucking running out. I know it's it's, it's we thirty nine minutes in, and my Chinese battery's dying. Yes, I'd like to thank the Chinese people. Yeah, I mean, hey, fuck the, the battery was only five ninety nine. Why can't I just buy the regular GoPro battery? That's what I want to know. Why do I gotta buy the Chinese one? I need three. I literally need three batteries to do the work of one. That's just how to show you how stupid people are. I'm part of the club, man. I'm, I'm here to tell you. What do we got here? We got some packages. I don't know. I got this bumper sticker over here. It says, I love anal sex. All right? We used to stick it on buddy's cars when we, you know, back then. So, I got this church guy coming over. I, he's going to help me do something with this transmission. He's from the church. He's coming in here. I'm like, I, I put a magnet over the I love, well, anal S. So it says, I love EX, if you read it. And I don't know. I don't know. I'll say, hey, welcome welcome to the shed. I'd like you to uh, introduce you to uh, a four-foot cock first with hairy balls. What am I supposed to say to this guy? I'm going to have to drape something over that. I'm like, ah, I can't. I can't hide from people anymore. Here you go. Look, look, you're into God, I'm into anal sex. How you doing? <sighs> Packages. Here we go. This, this, you know, listen, it came a long time ago. 629. So what is that, June? You know, my apologies, my apologies. Coming from TLC Incorporated. I don't know what that is. Gonna tear it open here. Fragile, very fragile. Handle with care, all over the place. I 
I had transmission parts on it. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. What is this? Piece of, piece of paper here. Look at this. This is this is straight Jack is committed to listing new sticker designs on a daily basis. Here we go. Straight Jack president bumper stickers and novelty division. There you go on Etsy. To show our gratitude, take 10% off your next order with this promo code. There it is. we don't have a problem on this show giving giving a shout I don't know what's wrong with people all right what's going on in here <laughs> oh boy yeah Back off, you some bitch. Smokey and the Bandit, right? Remember those old old movies like that from the early '80s, right? It was the late '70s, early '80s. Smokey and the Bandit, Cannonball Run. This is like old VCR stuff. Basket Case, Friday the Thirteenth. Remember all this old VCR stuff? I don't know. It's the stuff that you used to see when when VCRs first came out. I. I I remember when my parents got a VCR and I was so excited. Oh my God. We had a VCR with black and white TV. Oh wait, no, we had color TV at that point. I don't know, somebody died and we got a VCR. You know something? It was hard to be sad about death. Cause in our family, when somebody died, it's like, you know, it's like a grandpa died. Oh my God, this is terrible. But all of a sudden, like a new stereo system would appear in the living room. And you're like, geez, yeah, terrible about Grandpa. Yeah, right? Lo loving an elevator! Loving an elevator! I mean, fish stereo in the house, 15-inch speakers. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what did he leave us? I mean, tell me you got an inheritance without telling me you got an inheritance. So that's it. We celebrated death, you know. I remember walking in the kitchen. It was a George Foreman grill. My God, like, oh, geez, who died now? Um, moving along. I, first, I want to say Ke this one's coming from Kiefer. You know our man Kiefer, coming straight out of Washington. That's right. We know our man Kiefer, and the guy, look at this guy, he spends 26 fucking dollars. I mean, are you fucking kidding me, man? 26 dollars. Can you imagine the people that watch this program? You, you can't, you can't believe it sometimes. Oh, baby. Dear Bedhead, Merry Christmas, man. Oh, boy. This is for the Christmas show. do <laughs> We got to respect it. We got to respect it, guys. All right. And then we'll save that one for Jesus' birthday. Here we go. Here's a monster. I don't know what's going on here. This one's coming from, uh, there's a sticker on here that says dead bunnies. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, wow, these guys do it legit. Look at this guy. They started a channel. Here we go. They already have stickers with a QR code on it. I mean, I think we have some work to do over here on this show.
Okay, this one's coming from Kentucky. All right. Kentucky. I, I know it's beautiful there. What am I cutting? Oh my God, this thing is... It's dull as a Corolla. Where's Johnny Blade when you need him? Jeez, I don't even have a razor out. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah, who do I, I watch in, in Kentucky? I watch Steve Summers, and I look forward to him so much. He's a, mis a machinist out in Kentucky. That's right. Uh, amazing guy. I watch him every Saturday. He drops a video every Saturday. Machine work. Uh, just uh, working on his trucks. He lives in Kentucky. I'm fascinated by it. He has a creek. He has this big workshop out in the middle of uh, nowhere, really. There's a creek, and when he goes for a drive in his truck, you look around and you say, oh my God, where does this guy live? It's absolutely breathtaking. I said, some people live like that. I wanna live like that. I wanna live out in the country, man. God, it was so, it's so pretty. And he goes out there sometimes and, and you hear like the, like, you know, we have cicadas out here. You know, it's summertime, it's like, you hear a fucking cicada out there? Summertime. Maybe a cricket here and there coming from my basement. Maybe a cricket here and there. Maybe a cricket infested basement. When this guy leaves his shop at night, it's like... <laughs> leaves moving. It's, it's like... The, the, this land is alive. It's alive. It's a racket at night. During the day, it's quiet. At night, it's like a racket. Oh, my God. What the hell is going on here? Jesus Christ. This is packing, like, beyond anything you've ever seen in your life. I mean, what is this? PVC? PVC? Foam board. I mean, come on. Read this first. Munchies. Look at look at the letter. Look at the letter. <laughs> Jesse, it's a pleasure writing this letter to the creator of the greatest video program game program in the history of human civilization. My sons and I are fans of your channel and Patreon supporters. Thank you. In fact, your show has been an inspiration for us to create our own channel, Dead Bunnies. Please accept our gifts as a thank you for all your countless hours of content that you have provided to the world. Your work is appreciated and never taken for granted. Within the box, you'll find a number of gifts that are numbered in the order that they should be opened. Gift six is an item that my father... It, should they be opened in what order? From six to one or from one to six? I'm going to say one to six. Gift six is an item my father used to make while working at a foundry as a molder. He often watches your show with us and thought this gift would be appropriate. Look at this. You got the whole family watching. Can you imagine? Can you even imagine? Thanks again for your encouraging words in your email and... Good luck, and hold on a second while my wife's individual power washer sprinklers come on. That's right, and water jet the place in half. P.S. We we pay tribute to your program on one of our flipping ain't easy episodes. Scan the QR code below to and go to. 642 of the video. You gotta be kidding me. That's where this thing, this QR code takes you? Oh, try scanning your screen. Hold on, I gotta fold this over. There's sensitive, uh... Try scanning your screen, guys. Wouldn't that be neat? 
Let's see. Let's see how good your resolution is. Let's see how good my camera is. Let's see if you can. Hold on. Just an experiment. Sincerely, Roger, Eli, and Russ. Dead bunnies. And Grandpa Richard. <laughs> you, you gotta be kidding me, man. This is like outrageous. Look at the packing. Uh, I, I, I'm happy with the packing. You could have just sent that. Number one for Little Bit Head. Can you imagine these guys? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Let me tell you about guys that do it big time. Can you, you realize this is how a t-shirt is wrapped? This is like a Rubik's Cube. I don't even know how to get this out of here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. that you won't find a wrinkle on that t-shirt, buddies. This guy must like specialize in logistics or something. Wow, look at that. That's a neat shirt. Look at that. The Dead Buddy logo and Dead Buddies on the bottom. Huh. That's a neat one. I like that. Very understated. There's not a clean place in this absolute disaster. Okay, you understand? I got two transmissions apart in here. You know when you go into a mechanic shop and you smell that heavy, like, vo like volatile, like VOCs? What is that? Parts per million in the air? You smell that, that deranged smell of oil? It's gear oil. You ever smell gear oil? That, that this, this whole room is infested with it. And I know it's going into my clothes and I'm going to smell like gear oil when I go into the house. Anyhow. I, there's really nowhere to put it. To the, in the side of the box. In the side. Number two. Sharp dressed man. Yeah, look at this. Oh, you guys nailed it, man. You guys nailed it. Look at this. That Dead Buddies t-shirt in, in an extra large. Flipping ain't easy. I saw it. Oh, and, the, and their uh, logo on the bottom there. Very cool. And look at this. Wow. Read this first. Jeez. Oh, no. I was going to say, I thought there was another letter there. Oh, this is super cool. Look at this. These guys got class, man. Wow, you know their, lo their, their, their logo on this shirt just hit me with a burst of nostalgia. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Look at that. The Dead Bunnies logo, if you if you see, in ColecoVision font. Huh. Made me think of the ColecoVision. Immediately zapped me back. To going to Toys R Us and not seeing any ColecoVision games on the shelf. That's right. I said, my God. The week after I got ColecoVision, it got, that's it, it got shut down. And we went to Toys R Us and there were two games on the shelf. There was James Bond and there was Looping. Ah, I swear to God. My parents said, okay, you just got a brand new console for Christmas. That's right. The Nintendo is out, is out, is out, is out, is out. But you got ColecoVision. So everybody's rocking Nintendo. I finally get ColecoVision. I'm ecstatic. I don't care. I don't care. It's something I can plug into my TV and play video games with. My first video game console. 
We go to Toys R Us, there's two games left on the shelf. Like, what it'll be, kid? James Bond or looping? I was like, ah, James Bond. There you go. It's the first game I bought for my ColecoVision. Other than having Donkey Kong that it came with. I could beat Donkey Kong. I could just continuously play Donkey Kong and beat it. You know how long I played before I got James Bond? You have no idea. You have no idea. All right, well, this one has plastic on it, so we'll rest it over here on top of the plastic. All right. Number three, the sharks are out. Jesus These t-shirt bags are astounding. Look at this. It says attack here. Shark on the front. Another extra large. Awesome. Awesome. Shark, shark attack. Shark attack. Of course. Of course. Okay. <laughs> I, I haven't been to a garage sale in so long. I forgot what a shark is. Can you believe that? Can you, you do you imagine? Listen, guys, we've been together for how long now? We're going on. I mean, this is since 2011, so I don't know if you do the math. What do, what do I look like, uh, Stephen Hawking? So it's like it's like a long time. We've done a lot of stuff, man. Well, we did do a. <laughs> A lot of stuff. I don't know if we're doing a lot of stuff anymore. <laughs> what do you want from me, man? Like, can you believe it? I can't even remember what a shark was. What number were we on? Jesus Christ. Number six, number five, number four. Okay. A little pick-me-up. Holy shit, though. Here we go. What was I working on? What what coffee was I working on the other day? The, uh, the Somebody sent the Sons of Amazon coffee. I was working on that the other day, and then I had the Jack Daniels coffee. Look at this. Death Wish coffee. <laughs> oh, I love it. <clears throat> Hints of chocolate, cherry, and your daughter getting raped. I mean, let's face it. Let's face it. How many times can a man's daughter get raped? This is death wish. I mean, god, god damn it. Here we go. Yeah, dog. You don't see movies like that anymore. Remember when you used to watch movies in the 80s? There was like a rape scene around every corner. Oh, let's face it. You watch High Plains Drifter, a rape scene. Mad Max, rape scene. Uh, you, you know, a death wish, rape scene. I mean, everywhere you turn, somebody was getting raped. Now you turn on the TV, I don't, what do we got now? We got Snow Snow White, Dominican Snow White with the fucking, I don't know, what is she, Colombian? With the seven assholes. That's what it should be called. It should be called uh, Dominican Snow White with seven assholes. There we go. Death Wish Coffee, hints of chocolate and cherry. That sounds good. I mean, I mean, chocolate and cherry. Okay, like, what other delicious thing could you possibly think of? And with hints of chocolate, and cherry, and uh, you know, and a hot chick's asshole, or any asshole at this point. I mean, you know, it's amazing when you get to forty-six. It's incredible what happens. Life is such a balance. Because you start to look at, you know, chicks that you would have never looked at when you were younger. Do you understand? It's like your your Rolodex of wind of women that you would bang goes up higher and higher and higher. Until you see like a woman with a walker with the tennis balls on the bottom of it, and you're like, eh. I'd let her blow me, you know what I'm saying? 
So that's it. We're on number five. A taste of Kentucky. Something to put some hair on your chest. Uh, and you, you want something to put hair on my chest? Is there crazy glue in here? Um. Jeez, look at this. The, the packing is beyond belief. Is this battery about to shit to bed? Guys, let's do it right. Let me switch the battery. Oh, well, thank God. I jammed the battery in backwards. I thought I bent all the prongs. And then the camera wasn't turning on. All right. Here we go. Look at this. We got, we got the dead bunnies in the house, baby. We're doing it right with a fresh battery here. Oh, my God. I get, I get it like almost like... An, I guess it's a, like a dopamine rush when I see my battery's full. It's like, wow, one less thing I got to worry about now. What is this? Well, I'll be damned. Gee whiz! Oh my god. Just, oh my god. Guys, if that's not a bottle of hooch, I don't know what is. Huh? Look at this stuff. Boone County Distilled White Whiskey. Ho wee This is something else. Corn, rye, and barley. Guys, let's do it right, huh? Oh, yeah. Come on. Mmm. Come on, you damn thing. How do I know? It's got a cork. How do I know exactly what it's going to sound like when I pull the cork? You guys with me on this one? Look, it's got... Oh, turn it like that. This this is like you, you put it in your back pocket. You're like, you know... I don't know. Where are we going, church? You got it in your back pocket there? You're at, you're at work, okay? And you're like, oh, geez. You know, your manager just busted your balls. They got to... I don't know, you gotta go clean the toilet or something. You're like, all right, I'm on it. Let me get my plunger. Oh, <laughs> Whoa! Oh, holy shit! Wow! All right, we'll put the cork back in. Uh, um, I wasn't expecting that. Wonderful stuff. <clears throat> Woo! Man, that'll wake you up. Never mind the coffee. <sighs> Jesus. Number six. Smoke them if you got them. Oh. Don't even tell me right now. This would be this would be the topper. I feel it. I feel it already. I think I know what we're doing. Here. Oh, whoa! What is this? Wow! What an ashtray! What an ashtray! Look at this. This is the ashtray, right? It's got th it's got two docking positions, obviously for a couple, right? What a wonderful marriage when both parties smoke, huh? Oh my God! You come home from a rough day, you're like, "Hey, sweetheart," you don't even kiss each other. It's cigarette in the mouth first. How was your day? Oh, uh, you know, it was all right. You want to watch Jeopardy? You're like, oh, I'm fucking in, yeah. You sit on the couch, you got your, your you know, your his and her fucking ashtray here. 
Bip bip. What is uh No <clears throat> What is Hans Christian Anderson? Uh Alex. Because you gotta say who is. I I never knew the rules with Jeopardy. I tried. I just blurred out the answer. Come on. My father was always a stickler for that. You had to say what is, who is, where is. I'm like, Dad, really? You're at home on the couch. Can we stop already? Who's who's actually uh, moderating the rules around here? Uh, a, a fucking golden retriever? Come on. Uh, uh, who is Olivia Newton-John? Like, ah, oh, it's a good one, honey. Thank you, thank you. And that's it. That's a happy marriage. That's what we call that. Okay? You know, you you and your part you, if you've ever had sex and then you don't light you both don't light up a cigarette afterwards, you've never had sex. It's as simple as that. Listen, I'm gonna tell everybody out there not to be disgusting, but after a man drops his load, okay, it's time to have a cigarette and replace all the glycogen in the muscles with nicotine. It's the ultimate satisfaction. So here we go, it's an ashtray. Look at the front. Now look at the business end. Is that what I'm talking about? I don't want to talk about, baby. Grab on by the pusky. You know what I'm talking about, baby. Oh my God. That fucking, that drink is something else. My Lord, I feel like walking to my kid to school with this hanging out of my back pocket. You know what? <laughs> yes, he's talking to me. You know what I notice? When you drink a bottle like this, you gotta have your handshake first. So you're like, uh, you know, on the way to school, you're talking to one of the school parents because they're all useless at this point anyway. So, oh yeah, so did, uh, did Timmy have homework yesterday or what? Oh my God. Woo! Ah, that could power a lawnmower. Oh. Good Lord. Number seven, baby. We're up to number seven. Bithead 1000. We salute you. Unbelievable. What do you have, a factory at your house or something? Is this something we should know about? Is this like a pack? You have a packing factory at your house. Tense, man. What is going on here? What is this? <sighs> Knights of... Knights of... I don't know what that says. Upon recommendation of the members and approval by president and by virtue of the authority vested in them to hereby bestow upon Jesse Burns Bithead 1000 in recognition of the member, uh, the merit, I don't know what that word is. It could be the Boones County White Whiskey. The merit auris, geez, that's a tough one. Fulfillment of the prescribed requirements for knighthood, this honorary knight, you're kidding me. The knights of, I wanna get this right, L-A-M-S, Lamshi? Lamshi? With all rights, I'm, I'm trying to do this uh, respectfully. I, I want you to know that. I'm illiterate. 
and privileges pertaining thereto, knighted on May 15th, notice how late we are, uh, on May 15th, 2023, you got to be kidding me. We are officially an honorary knight for the Knights of um, Lamshi. I'm saying it wrong. I, no need, I don't want to disrespect the organization. This is something else. This is so, I, I'm so proud to be an honorary knight. And this is from Richard, uh, Grandpa Richard. This is a treasure and I will hang this in my office. I'll tell you that right now. Okay? I don't know what's going down down there at the Knights, but I tell you right now, if I go down there and kick off, open the door, I guarantee you there's some kegs being emptied. Because I know how, listen, I know how you guys roll. We have the Knights of Columbus around here. Okay? I know what goes on. It's a party, man. And I'm in. I'm in. The Knights of Lampshi. Please, God, tell me I'm saying that right. Oh my God, guys, dead bunnies, dead bunnies, please, dead bunnies, check out their YouTube channel, okay, please, if you support uh, this show, and I think I'm getting hammered off of this booze, if you support the show, please go check out dead bunnies. Because I can't tell you how grateful I am. I, I'm so grateful for the time it took to pack this stuff. I know what it's like. I know what it's like. The shipping. People from Kentucky reaching out up here to New York. It feels fantastic. It feels fantastic. What a thoughtful, thoughtful package. And uh, I'm very, very grateful. Guys, do you realize... You just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization. And you better believe that. With the 4K vice! We'll see you next time.